Hello folks. Welcome to the grand finale. I am here in northwestern Pennsylvania with what remains of a caramel shake I got at a food truck nearby. Yeah, I know. It's the end of the trip, so I'm pretty wasteful with money. But this is where everything is capped off. This month-long adventure in the Appalachia countryside all comes down to this. And I wouldn't call it a grand finale of sorts. I'm frankly too tired for some big adventure today. We're gonna just end it off with a nice, peaceful, natural scenery type of video. As you can see, this place is a pretty popular place to visit. Uh, not the only one here. It's for good reason. This area provides amazing sights of the Allegheny Mountains. Now, do you see what's in front of us? Looks very, very industrial. This used to be a railroad bridge. Now, to and from where it goes, no clue. But, back in 2003, a tornado hit. I know, weird to have a tornado here in northwestern Pennsylvania, surrounded by all these mountains. But, it hit and part of the bridge got demolished, or torn down, and now you can see the fallen half of that railroad. But let's rewind to when it was still a full bridge. It was over 2,000 feet long and was built as this eighth wonder of the world for much of this mountainous region. Back during this time in the late 19th century, it was, for a couple years, the tallest bridge in the world. And it was used by the railroad companies around this region of the United States up until the late 50s or 60s or so. Now we see that, look at that, there's people on it walking back and forth across those railroad tracks that we just got a little preview of. It's now this very famous landmark attraction here in Pennsylvania. And it's one of those hidden places. You have to really go into the forests. We're just a bit west of the Allegheny National Forest. Oh no, sorry, a little bit eastward. So you really have to get into this dense forested area just to witness this. So with that said, let's take a look at the Kinsua Bridge of Kinsua Bridge State Park. When we get up close to this bridge, of course, it looks much more giant than from a distance. That's what the element of perspective does to your eyes. And so you can see this bridge is huge and you can really tell. Oh yeah, that is definitely more than a few hundred feet. And going across to the end, if the bridge were still standing, you'd probably be able to see. Wow, that's 2,000 feet. That's what it looks like. That's the distance. As this is one of those family-friendly areas, as are most state parks or land attractions throughout this region and probably the country, you're going to find different types of tourists. And so I find it nice when I can find the rare peaceful time here where I can talk without hearing parents screaming at their children or some other noise for that matter. You know, this trip has been so long that we started at the beginning of September and we finally reached the month of October. You couldn't really see it when we were south enough. But once you get north enough into this country, around this time, the leaves start changing color and around this region, northern Pennsylvania, upstate New York into upper New England, you get this beautiful fall foliage where the leaves turn yellow, brown, red, orange, all different shades together to make a vibrant array, a beautiful scenery. And even if we can't really see the peak of this beauty on this trip, we can at least see the beginning. See, look at all this fall scenery, a beautiful valley full of different colors of trees. Now these are some wide gaps in between what remains of the railroad. You better watch your step. We're now approaching the end of this skywalk. I 
really gets one thinking. We are such small entities in the world. And the world is much larger and much more powerful than we will ever be. It just puts everything into perspective here on this view. So I think we've seen everything we need to see about this Kinswa Bridge in the Kinswa Bridge State Park. It is a bridge made from a railway. Honestly, I've been wanting to go to this place for months, but every trip I couldn't really arrange it within the schedule or there were just not that great opportunities. But finally, after quite a few times of attempting to visit this area and the surrounding Allegheny Forest, glad we came here on our final excursion on this Appalachian adventure today. This bridge is such a testament to Pennsylvania's industrial history. I'm sure this railroad was able to transport materials countless amounts through the really unforgiving mountains for transportation. It's very, very hard to transport or make a railway or make a, a road through such inhospitable terrain. You know what else is inhospitable? This trail. It's like you have to jump down. <laughs> it's kind of difficult when I'm just trying to walk in a straight path and there we go, another, another drop. Oh, but now we can really see the bridge in its magnitude. The worst part about this is I know going down, there might be some nice views, but I'm gonna have to go back up this steep trail. We're just zigzagging down this mountainside and I'm beginning to think, is this worth it? Walking down this trail for maybe some nice views from the bottom. I think so. We're basically at the bottom of this valley. I wanna take this time to really just thank you all. This is the last destination of my last major trip of the year. At the beginning, I had really no idea what to expect. And out here on the 2nd of October, 2021, I can really just say, wow, what an adventurous year we've had. Both me, but also us all together. I don't want to exactly spew all my personal thoughts out because I'd rather save that for the epilogue. That's what the epilogue is for. We travel here in these videos and then I divulge my own reflections there. But I guess I can make an analogy to this Kinswa Bridge over here. You know, something may start out very, very strong and then at any moment something could happen to it. And that's how I feel about this whole coverage project. It might be fun, but who knows when things in life forced me to not do this anymore, to not travel. So, at this moment, I'm not gonna go into specifics until the epilogue, but it's not the end. Just because this is the last major trip of the year does not mean the coverage project as a project is gone, is over. I definitely intend to continue this. While the weather is still warm, I may take you know various day trips here and there to places within a day's drive for me, but this is the end. This is the last I can really give as far as content for the time being. One reason being, of course, I'm low on money. You can't travel without money. And as much as I'd like to say, oh, I'd love to travel the country and the world, I can't do it if I don't spend some time working to save up the funds for it. Two, because I might need a break. You know, traveling for a month at a time like this does take physically something out of you and I need to recover a little bit. Three, because do I really want to travel when it's cold? The weather is getting colder, sadly. The days are getting shorter and it wouldn't be as fun. I'd rather make the most of the days that can mean the most rather than just scrape by with minimal effort in a day where it's too freezing, days are too short, don't have enough time. So yeah, those are a couple reasons I gotta call it quits for now. Who knows, you might be seeing this, I don't know, January, February, Maybe even into March, I don't know how the upload thing is gonna go, but who knows, after this you may see another <laughs> new adventure within a couple weeks. I don't know how it's gonna go. But going back to the original thing I said, I'm thankful. I have so much gratitude for those of you who have gone out of your way, chosen to watch my videos. Watch through whatever you want, maybe post a comment, like the video, subscribe even. Every little action of those really makes it feel like maybe it's not just for me, but it's something for you all as well. And that really heartens me. Because I'm just trying to <laughs> live my own fun, innocent dreams. And if it can make a difference in your lives even just a little bit, that reaffirms that I'm making the right choices in life, I guess. <laughs>
I've learned so much, whether it's talking to various people, just learning about the history, the culture of these places, getting some insight from the various people I meet, and just learning through this experience of uploading videos and running my own personal YouTube channel. It's very much taught me a lot, and I want to continue that worldly learning experience. In these last six months, we've traveled to 20 states. That's 40% of the number of states in America. And considering that things go to plan, and I'm lucky enough to have these opportunities to travel once the weather warms up again, I hope to at least cover another 40%. That could always be a goal, but I'd love to see the country as a whole. And with your help, it's certainly coming true. So I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sincerely, thank you. I don't know how many subscribers or total views I'll have once this video is uploaded, but that really doesn't matter. What does matter is that we get to have these experiences and learn together. I hate to say, oh, more travels won't come. So we'll just say this. Here at Kinswa Bridge State Park, thankful as ever for the love and support so far on this channel more travels to come. I will see you at the next location.